Are you upset that your HTC One isn't running the official Play Edition software? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how to turn your HTC One into a Play Edition. Earlier this week, Google updated the Devices section of the Play Store with two new faces, the Play Edition HTC One and Galaxy S4. Naturally, since these two new, well, sort of new devices launched just a month ago, some existing owners have been a bit upset since the Play Edition devices are something many have been begging for all along, official stock Android on flagship handsets. As per usual, the development community came to the rescue. We now have a quick and easy way to turn your HTC One into a Play Edition One in just a few minutes. First, of course, there are some prerequisites. Your HTC One will need to be bootloader unlocked, and you will need to have a custom recovery installed. And it also helps to have ADB set up on your machine if you plan to do any Android modding. To unlock the bootloader, head over to htcdev.com, create an account, and follow the instructions. For more detailed instructions on how to flash a custom recovery, check out our previous video on flashing a custom ROM to the HTC One, linked in the description below. Once you've gotten all of that taken care of, head over to the thread in the XDA Developers Forums, also linked below. Pick one of the many mirrors to download. I went through several before I found one that wasn't going to take several hours to complete. The file is just over 450 megabytes, so it may take some time anyway if your connection is slow. Once the download finishes, you will need to move the file over to your HTC One. This has gotten a little more tricky over the years, but there are a few methods that work reliably. You can use an application like Wi-Fi File Explorer Pro and transfer the file via Wi-Fi. But the method I use most often for large files is ADB. Plug your phone into the computer, open a terminal window, and change the directory to where the file is located. Type ADB push the name of the zip file forward slash SD card forward slash and press enter. This will take about a minute to complete. The terminal prompt will tell you if the process failed or succeeded, but if you're unsure you did the step correctly, you can double check and find the file on the phone before rebooting with a file explorer. Without unplugging the phone in terminal, type ADB reboot bootloader. The phone will reboot to the HBoot menu. From there, use the volume keys to highlight bootloader and press the power button to select then select recovery. Depending on which custom recovery you installed, things may look a little different at this point, but they all do about the same thing. It's a smart idea to perform an Android backup. Using the volume keys, scroll down to backup, hit the power button to select, and select backup once again. The process will take a couple minutes, then you will want to perform a factory data reset and wipe the cache partition. Then select install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and scroll with the volume keys until you find the proper zip file. Confirm the action and wait just a few more minutes. Once the flash completes, reboot the phone. This reboot will take longer than normal, and once the phone finally powers on, you will be running an official, pure stock version of Android on the HTC One. And save for future updates being pushed directly from Google, your HTC One will be virtually no different than the official Play Edition HTC One. That's going to do it for now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'll see you soon.